Hey guys, today we are in Wisconsin. Are we in Wisconsin? I think we're in Wisconsin. What, what? We're somewhere way up north where the Great Lakes are. Okay, we saw some airplanes. It's time to go home. No. <laughs> oh, look, there's where they're all. So much noise. One, there's a lot of people around. But also, we have. Uh, Airplanes flying constantly. There's an air show 24 a chance to just sit in the thin and <laughs> You're basically wearing that airplane if you're into like the subsonics the the jet that is made by Sonics There's a lot you... to see a lot to do and Good morning everybody welcome back to Mojo Grip early dawn today We're on our way to Oshkosh uh, This is practically day two if you missed the previous video that was technically day one doing some uh, pre-flight and testing for the airplane and today we're, we're wheels up so I recruited my friend NCFI Carlston to be my safety pilot today uh, it's been questionable weather so he's a higher rated pilot also instrument and a commercial pilot so he'll help me out <laughs> if we were to get into some weather that I'm not able to handle but we are it's actually 545 right now and uh, we plan to be wheels up in another 45 minutes to an hour such a <laughs> surreal day today because I've always gone to Oshkosh but I've always flown commercial this is the very first time I'm gonna fly in so I'm very excited and nervous because this is also uh, one of the longest trips, <laughs> if not the longest trip that I'm going to take in the sling. Uh, we've got about, let's just say six hours to fly and uh, gonna plan for one stop just to take a break. Um, and likely we're gonna fly to here, uh, instrument, and then we'll Hopefully things are better and we'll fly the rest of the VFR. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Come along for this adventure with me and I will catch you next in the airplane. Hey, good morning ladies and gentlemen. We are Oshkosh bound and uh, we're gonna be flying out of here with uh, IFR clearance that's why Carson is here and for me I'm pretty much a student today because I actually get a real-world experience flying instrument uh, today so this is good practice and the plan is to fly safe <laughs> then and there Number six six one Mike Golf Gwinnett Tower. Turn right heading three two zero. And if you can get a base of the cloud port for me, please, for runway two five, clear for takeoff. Alright, clear for takeoff runway two five, right heading three two zero, real report base once we get out. Uh, six six one Mike Golf. So when do I turn right? Uh four hundred feet. So at four hundred I turn turn right, yeah. Okay. Okay. This should be interesting. I'll let you know. Alright. I'll bug the heading, three two zero. We're good. Clear on right. Clear on departure. Let's roll. I'll just focus on my instrument today. I won't even look outside for the most part, at least. I'll reference it a little bit. Oh, you can look out, man. I'll tell you when to focus. Alright. I'm a student today. Alright, we got green. Air speeds a lot. Good. Let's go far. Pretty much at 1400, let's start making a right turn. Gotcha. To 320. Stay on runway heading too, right now.
Alright, hold 3000. Yeah, I am. Also working on my head. Alright. Sign of departure. Sling 661 Mike Golf, 3000, heading 320. 7661 Mike Golf, Atlanta departure. Climb and maintain 8000, ident. Climb and maintain 8000, 661 Mike Golf. Appreciate it. All right, climb 8000. For one Mike Golf, order contact 3 Northwest of Gwinnett, Atlanta, Altimeter 3006. 3006, 661 Mike Golf. 7030, change to my frequency 121.0. All right. Da, 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 da. Eight thousand. Stay on this heading and climb to eight thousand. All right, on the gauges just for a little bit. Up. Up on the gauges. Want to some clouds? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I already saw it, so I'm looking okay. at my screen. I'm not looking at it. <laughs> All right, cool. Because I'm not, like I said, I'm trying to not lose <laughs> reference. Yep. Yep. The attitude indicator heading. And is a little bit different. Right. For at least for me. But um, attitude, heading, and you can look at the turn coordinator to see if it's gotcha. causing the turn. All right, get back right. Yeah, I saw I'm drifting a little bit. It's beautiful, man. Look at this. Woo. Look outside to the right real quick, man. Wow. All right, three, two, zero. All right, we got uh, 2,500 to go. Roger. Alright, go ahead and activate the autopilot now. Yeah, that's cool. Put it on heading mode for right now. 7661 Mike Scott, contact Atlanta Center on 133.1, g'day. 133.1, g'day, 661 Mike Golf. Atlanta Sling, 661 Mike Golf, 8000. Yeah, 661 Mike Golf, Atlanta Center, Roger. Quick direct to Hinch Mountain Hotel, Charlie Hotel. Chattanooga altimeter 3003. Clear direct to Hitch Mount, uh, 661 Mike Golf. Currently, we're 30 minutes on the right tank. Right. So we can probably, what, seven? Yep. So if you want to switch now, we can. If you want to. Yeah. Um, hold on. Our fuel pressure's still good. Yeah, and I'm thinking maybe test it. Or what do you think? You can try it out. Because I'm thinking it could be that. That left hand. So let's see. See, there's no. Yeah. That I'm in the right. It's that right hand. So if we, let's say we took off with 19 on that, and I'll just assume we burn about 10, just to be safe. I'll calculate we've got maybe an hour left on that tank. And at 7.38. Hey guys, so uh, right now we at our at our cruise altitude of 8,000. Are on a IFR flight plan. Uh, which, this is literally, I think this may be my first experience Find actual real world IFR. Uh, right, feels easy enough because you know you're just talking to the radio obviously and uh, looking at uh, checking the weather. Uh, so far the plane is flying well. We've got an issue maybe with our right tank so I'm keeping an eye on that. But right now we're cruising at 145 true. Uh, I've got about 75% power, and we're burning 7.4 gallons of fuel an hour. Our ground speed right now is only 127, so we've got some headwind. Actually, I would say wind, wind calm because indicated is 126. Uh, but so far, so good. We've got... Jetting approach, Scout 446 Echo Romeo. Uh, two hours and 30 minutes until our first stop. And right now we're maybe coming across some uh, some cloud build up, so for guys. need to deviate a little bit to avoid that. But so far, so good.
Alright, nice and cool up here. I guess we're flying over the mountains, right? Uh, I think we're past it we're now. We're past it? Yeah, we're past it. I'm just looking at ground, right? Oh, uh, there's no ground. There's Did you no see ground? ground? I see some, like, grass and trees, some green. Uh, you don't see it because your, your side is pretty obscure. Yeah, it, it, yeah, I've got some uh, some green on mine. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Once it's crazy. The, the hardest part is just getting out and getting in. Once yeah. you get the cruise, it's pretty much just watching weather if you got weather. And um, monitoring your instruments. But honestly, I feel like we're... Probably to the right yeah, of it. Yep. Yeah, we'll clear of that. Number yep. 46030, Chattanooga approach, altimeter 3004. Good thing is, even though I don't have weather, we got it on there. Four flight shows a little bit better than me. But um, good thing is, we still can pull in weather for each airport, which is really what I'm concerned about. That way, if I want to deviate, I can say, hey, let me deviate to Chattanooga because it's VFR over there. Now, generally. You control whoever you're talking to today, automatically like update you with some weather on your path, or you have to like ask. You would normally ask if it's not, if it's not severe, you ask. If it's like severe, like the other day I flew on Thursday, we had a bad storm on Thursday. And so when I was flying towards Alabama, I heard, I heard ATC given airplanes a lot of updates on the weather. So it just really depends on the weather. Gotcha. Most of the places in this area are marginal right now, oh, yeah. or IFR, so we could revert back to Chattanooga and go VFR. 5364, contact Atlanta. Uh, if we have any issues. Morning. Uh, but going forward, everything is actually VFR. Sweet. After we get past uh, about another 30 minutes, and we're about to fly over the Tennessee River, which is nice. And the Tennessee River. The center uh, six six uh, one Mike Golf eight thousand. Six six one Mike Golf on the center rider. Uh, Cross altimeter three zero zero Three zero zero nine or six six one Mike Golf. Center one Mike Golf. I'm showing an area of moderate to heavy and extreme precipitation at your eleven o'clock, about thirty miles. So let me know if you need deviation. I will. I'll let you know. We got it in sight, and I will we'll crash if we need deviation to the right. Six six one Mike Golf. Okay. Hey, so he just gave us. So we've already. Yep, that's that there. So when do we start the deviation? Is so we're good right now. Six eight one three one zero Atlanta Center Roger Atlanta Center three zero zero seven. We could probably start. That's it. See Atlanta Center six six one my golf request. There one my golf go ahead. Yeah, can we get a deviation ten degrees to the right for a little bit? Uh, six six one my golf. There one my golf. Somebody had that for you in uh, less than a minute. Roger, take one my golf. They said we can? Uh, stand by. Oh, okay. There's the exit correction, 661 my golf, deviation, right of course approved, proceed direct to Louisville, India, India uniform when you're able. Alright, deviation to the right, uh, 10 degrees, and then on course uh, to, uh, can you give me that waypoint again, 661 my golf? India, India uniform. 661 my golf, it's uh, India, India uniform, uh, Louisville VOR when able. Alright, back on course at India, India. Uh, Uniform. Uniform, 661 Mike Golf. Appreciate it. Alright, All right, so we're going 10 degrees to the right. And just hit heading. So, 3, 5, 4 then. No, just hit heading. Oh, just hit head. Oh, you already changed it. Yeah. Give me that 4872, contact line of scenario uh, on the 1. So to this green seven, means cloud or rain? 4872. It means rain. And then the red and the orange and the yellow. Oh. It's just more intense. Okay. So the green and the pretty much green and dark green I'll fly through. Dark green I'm very cautious on because it can turn yellow and orange pretty quickly. Okay. So this light green I'm good with. The dark green you're like, uh right. how quick can I get through it? And then the other stuff you're like, nah, I'm not I'm not gonna do it. Alright, so I'll I'll put the pedo to a pedo heat. Yeah, if we go through it. That. Yeah. But the, the crazy thing is, it may not be at our altitude. So, let's look at the cloud top. Cloud number one, Mike Golf, contact Indy Center 124.62. 124.62, 661, Mike Golf. So, we we'll go with this. Yeah, we'll go with this one. Power 
up back. <laughs> we can, uh, if you want, we can deviate to the right a little bit. Put it on heading. About 10 degrees. And deviate to the right. Oh, shoot. Uh, you gotta put it on, on it first. No, you're good. Just slow down. We're good. Oh, you, we deviate to the right, not the... Yeah, because look, if you deviate to the left, we're going into... So right here. I see what you mean. Yep. But it's still turning to the left. Yeah, because we got the, I got the header now. We're good. Let it fly. We're good. Oh yeah. Right, I got my rudders on. Yeah. Don't don't worry about the rudders. All right. Yeah. Power back a little bit. We're good on this one. Don't worry about the rudders, we're good. Okay. All right. I'm gonna let you just get through there so you can just get a feel of it again. <laughs> yeah. All right, little bump. And it should be back out. It is cool to just look at your screen when you go through that. Yep. Because I don't, like, I'm fine once I come out of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? approach stick so we already got it go back to flight plan procedure approach got the airport approach are now three six click it what we want to do is transition is going to be our this one power reverse of course no all right load approach all right everything's loaded Street. RNAV 36 and we're sending that down to 6,000. Yeah. So, guys, one thing, one cross country flight. <laughs> I have a P back. Thank you. Because I've been holding mine for a good bit. So we can't touch down fast so enough. Five right Bravo Foxtrot, contact approach one two one point one. All right, more instrument experience here. Go through this layer of clouds. So the instruction is down to four thousand, maintain four thousand, and then until we cross here, and then we're going to be following the glide slope okay. and the CDI. So the glide slope and the CDI the whole way down. Our minimum okay. is going to be 1079. If we do break uh, out of the clouds early, we can't descend below minimum until the BDB point. Contact climb maintain one three thousand. one three thousand All right, so I'm going to put this on our heading of 004. That's what we need to turn to. If anything happens with the autopilot or whatever, we can break off autopilot, fly okay. the heading, and we're good. So right now you can actually hit approach and that'll put it in an approach mode right now and it'll fly the uh it'll still fly na navigation but yeah and then it'll start picking up the uh glide slope yeah how smooth these clouds are feels so good yeah look outside real quick just to see the suit yeah i see it <laughs> it's crazy i can technically see it from my side vision but yeah, i try to focus okay, thank you. so i just don't get disoriented yeah there were some five nine lima fox in the approach and this is like between nine, the right? layers and then we're probably going to a little bit more yeah. as we keep going down uh i think this is remember uh two two echo very this is what um, uh, eta to next waypoint yours eta to destination that's sorry two two echo traffic now uh one o'clock and one mile northeast on up to the indicates 5,500. Turn right heading uh, zero nine or zero. Could break out of the clouds is roughly about 2628. Oh. Three miles. Okay, one of the approach in the altimeter two nine or nine or eight. See direct. Uh, He's already cleared us for the approach. I'm gonna put in Unicom left. real quick. Okay. One twenty two point eight. 63 Sierra contact gets approach 123.85. 12385. Alright, glide path a little bit high. Still good. Alright, the gas is on. Lights, we'll get them. Undercarriage we don't have. It's welded, or hopefully we have. 
Uh, mixture, we're good. Prop, good. Yeah, so normally, All I'll right. let us get closer. 2400, look at that, baby. All right. There have to Piece be and seat belts are good. CDI is good, glass loop's good. All right, we popped out right around my estimate. Runway's right in front of us. We can put our flaps in. Uh, if you're in flap range, yeah. Keep that. Beautiful, man. Just deactivate uh, autopilot now or let it fly? Yeah, you can't deactivate it. Just let it fly down. But still, just fly this. You got to maintain your altitude. So uh, what, what altitude am I maintaining now? So right now you can go down to 14.4. Yep. And so you see your CDI is coming off to the left. So correct a little bit to the left. Get that CDI back center. The glide path is perfect. Yeah, right there. Not so much on the uh, on the movement. It's a little bit of movement. Let that CDI come back in. So keep this heading. Yeah. Right, right there. Keep it right here. Okay. And then let some of your power out. The glide slope is getting high. Let some of the power out. Two more traffic. Uh, Cherokee two two seven two Tango is. Our right, CDI is coming so in, so slowly bring it back to zero zero four heading. For a left downwind three two Seymour. Let out some more of that power. Up the kind of traffic, sling 661 mic off, one and a half mile final, runway 36, R now 36. Put them kind of traffic. Add some power, because we got to maintain that out. Anybody in the pattern at Bedford? What's the altitude to maintain? Uh, no, it's the glass up, sorry. Oh. Their speed is good. Yeah, for some reason I'm just used to looking at the runway. <laughs> That's what yeah. I'm going Your about. minimum is going to be 1079, we got 100 feet to go. Yeah. Alright. Why did they shut off on me? So, now you can maintain heading at 004. Glide slope is perfect. Airspeed looks good. Don't let it bleed off too much. And then at this point, we'd be minimum because it's 10, 1060, okay? So yeah. this is where we would get out of the clouds if it was minimum. Just land the plane like you normally would. All right. Gentlemen, we are making a first stop here. If you see my eyes bleeding out, it's because <laughs> I need to pee bad. So, uh, but we touched down safely. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to go on the second leg, and that should put us at Oshkosh in another two and a half to three hours. See, I'm even slurring my words.